In this video for the Faf Creative 4.5 sewing machine, we are gonna teach you how to correctly thread the machine, wind a bobbin, and how to put the bobbin in, and a few tricks along the way. So first off, when you take a look at your spool of thread, number one, thread quality makes the difference. If you spend more on thread, it is a better quality thread. If it's really cheap or really old, well, this machine might not like you very much, and you're gonna notice maybe some things not working as smooth as they should. So make sure that before you call your local store and complain about something not working, quality thread. Change your thread, change your needle, and clean your machine. So next off, if you take a look at your spool and you notice the little X's like there is on mine, we are going to put it on the horizontal spool pin. If your spool is more of a stack thread where the thread comes right up uh, from the bottom to the top, I'd like you to go ahead and put it on the vertical vertical spool pin. You can put one of the little discs here for it to sit on and then one of the felt pads can go on there and then it will spin like this. Truly, thread does like one of those ways to come off depending on what kind it is. So with this, we're going to go ahead, slide it on, put the spool cap on. I've chosen this one because it's a larger spool and make sure there's no gap in between the spool and the spool cap. That way, um, well, the thread won't get caught there. So we're going to start off by winding a bobbin. You're going to come underneath the first silver part and kind of up into this groove. Then for winding a bobbin, what you want to do is come around the top part of this disc. And when you see that, uh, there's a little finger. We'll use that, go under the finger for threading it, but around the top of his, we'll call it his little hat, when you're actually um, winding a bobbin. Next, when you look at your bobbins, you will find a FAF logo on it. Make sure the FAF logo is always facing up when you put the bobbin on the bobbin winder, and then also when you drop it into the bobbin area, then that way it always goes in the correct way. So just, it's just a way to make things a lot simpler. Now I am gonna go ahead and start by threading the bobbin up through the hole that is on the top. So from the inside up, and then hold on to this tail and put it onto the bobbin winder. You do wanna make sure the thread gets into all the little grooves along the way. And then when you go ahead and push the bobbin winder to engage, you will notice on screen there is a new item. You can go ahead and touch the play button Reduce the speed if you want. You can make it go wind slower or faster. I usually leave it full speed. Hold the thread straight up, don't let go, and go ahead and wind it up. If you hold on tight, that thread will actually come out and break off, and then it'll actually be able to, um, it'll just fill up on its own and it will stop when it's done. And we're done. Now I do notice that when it broke off, it left just a little bit of tail here. You'll find that if you don't clip that off, the way the stitch is made in a sewing machine, on every sewing machine, that thread has to cross over that little nub. So make sure you um, clip that. There is a little cutter right here, so just cut, bring your bobbin around the front, and then that way you can um, cut it without needing scissors up at the top. Now we will do a closer video and explanation of your bobbin um, for inserting your bobbin, but pretty much you just drop it down so you can see the FAF logo. Bring the thread down all the way to six o'clock. That's the little groove at the bottom. Notice I'm holding my finger. That makes sure that when I pull up here to the left, it clicks into place. And there's a little path that you can follow. If you put the door on first, then pull, it holds the thread exactly where it, it needs to be and the length it needs to be for when we go to take a stitch and we don't have to bring that bobbin thread up. So nice time saver by our FAF company here. Next, let's go ahead, we undo the little hat part and bring your thread underneath this little, um, the finger from behind. So, and we're bringing it towards us. Now, before I go down this first groove, this is where the tensions are, is make sure your presser foot is in the up position. If it's not, go ahead and touch the up button and make sure it's up. Those tension discs are now open. And I'm gonna teach you a little trick here so it always works. If you come down with your hand and hold up here at the top of the spool and then do a little floss, 
This makes sure that your thread goes all the way down where it needs to go. If you've ever sewn and you had those big hairy loops on the back of your fabric, it's because you didn't put the thread all the way into that first groove. So go ahead and do that little trick. Especially when you get to embroidery, it will make sure you always thread it correctly. So we've come down the tension area, up, come in on the right, down on the left for the take up lever. And then there's one guide at the very top of your needle. And then there is a needle threader. Hallelujah, everything looks lined up. Uh, we will do, once again, a needle threader video that you'll be able to follow nice and close. So let's just make sure we have our machine threaded correctly by sewing on a little scrap of fabric. You'll notice that I'll always be sewing on two layers and I would recommend you do the same. With the presser foot up, that bobbin's in, all you need to do is step on the foot control and start to sew. That bobbin thread will be pulled up and when you get all the way to the end, you can even use the scissor button or thread snips as it's called in the manual, and it will cut the thread for you and that stitch, ah, we have a perfect stitch. Uh, you do have a little cutter on the side of the machine as well if you do wanna do that. So what I'm looking for is that the stitch looks the same on both the front and the back. Cut the thread, notice it lifts the foot up, and all you have to do is pull your fabric out. You will only have one thread left when you use that automatic thread snips button, and that's okay. It pulls the bobbin thread up each time that you start. So let's go ahead and get into some of the things on the screen, how to pick stitches, how to adjust your stitches, and what all these cool buttons are all about.